welcome to another episode of Chris and Dean's Movie Picks on the Philosophers, where we help the film fan avoid the filth flim flam. <laughs> you almost got that. Dean, why don't you start us off with our, our movie pick? Okay. My movie pick is the 2002 film Confessions of a Dangerous Mind. This was George Clooney's debut at the directing helm, and it is a brilliant film. I thought I had remembered how good it was, and I went back and rewatched it a few nights ago, and it's really brilliant. It's the premise of it is just unspeakably fabulous. It's uh, the story of the real life person, Chuck Barris, whom you may recall as the host of The Gong Show. He was the creator not only of The Gong Show, but the dating game, the newlyweds game. Many people, as is mentioned in the film, many people consider him to be the single person most responsible for the decline and fall of Western civilization. Uh, just of, of just over the top mindless crap on on the TV screens. Um, he also, by the way, it comes out in the film, little known fact about Chuck Barris is he was the writer of a single hit record down at Palisades Park by Freddie Cannon. Right. Um, and I always hated that song. Do, 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 oh. do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, was... You never oh, know I... how great a kiss can feel till you stop at the, the top, top of, of the, the Ferris, Ferris wheel. wheel. Well, I fell in love uh, uh, down at Palisades Park. Do, 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 do. Anyway, the, so all that about Chuck Barris is known, but in a memoir that he wrote later in his life, he claimed that he had another life going on. That meanwhile, he was um, working as an assassin for the CIA. So what the film does is it takes Chuck Barris's bizarre story at face value. It assumes that this in fact is what happened. And, um, and the, it's the whole thing and the going, the moving between the two worlds, the world of, of, of knocking off Russian spies in Berlin and, and being on the set of, and of course it's perfect because all those, those sets, those late sixties sets of the Chuck Barris shows were bright colors and flowers and, you know, everyone wearing bell bottoms and so forth. So color, texture, light, sound, cutting, it's just, it's just brilliant. The, the whole kind of fantasy movement between these two worlds. Chuck Barris is played by, and I cannot imagine anyone else in this role, Sam Rockwell. Okay. I mean, Sam Rockwell is, you know, he's, his physicality is so graceful. He's, you know, if you have not seen Sam Rockwell dance, um, you, you gotta see that. He is one of the great dancers of all time. And he, and if you go back and you can watch on, on YouTube clips of, from, from the actual gong show with, uh, with with the, the real Chuck Barris in his very characteristic, we'll be back with more stuff. And his whole, his, and, and Rockwell's got it, his rhythms, his posture, his, and the, the, the just kind of the, the weirdness, the craziness, the attitude, all of that, how it all expressed through the physicality. And uh, Clooney himself plays, um, uh, Barris's uh, CIA handler, and he's great, completely deadpan. I was watching it, I was watching him very closely, and I'm pretty sure that throughout the film, he never blinks. <laughs> and that has to be deliberate. That's a, that's a deliberate choice that's going to involve some cutting and so forth. He never blinks, and he's just, 
Uh, and especially, you know, when we know what a wonderful kind of range of comedy and charm George Clooney, you know, the latter day Clark Gable is capable of to see him playing just straight and deadpan and just no screwing around here is is really fun. Um, Drew Barrymore as the as a love interest, Julia Roberts as a dangerous femme fatale. Everyone's great. So Confessions of a Dangerous Mind, go see it. It's been a while. I'll have to watch it again. Thank you. I'm looking forward to seeing that. Um, I'm going to just brush lightly on a couple of Sam Rockwell films that I consider to be the essential Sam Rockwell. And he is one of my favorite supporting actors. I think I first noticed him, or he'd been in small films uh, for some years, but I first noticed him really the first time in 1999's Green Mile. The... Uh, Frank Darabont directed Stephen King adapted film with Tom Hanks about uh, you know life on the uh, uh, on on death row you know in the in the southern penitentiary in the I guess the 1930s and Sam Rockwell plays a deranged inmate named Wild Bill and he's unbelievable and he steals the movie that was in 1999 and in the same year. He appeared in one of my favorite screen comedies, Galaxy Quest, in which he played Guy Fleegan, who was the uh, kind of dispensable um, character actor in the Galaxy Quest series and, uh, and becomes the, the, the kind of the paranoid, anxious, dispensable character in a, in a real life alien adventure. But great comedic timing. And then um, beyond those two movies, I think two of my favorites are uh, 2017's Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri, the Martin McDonough directed uh, film with uh, Frances McDormand in which she won her, her second Oscar for second of three for best actress. And he won an Oscar for best supporting actor in his role as a kind of a backward, you know, redneck, deputy in a, in a small Missouri town. Um, and then lastly, as a, uh, uh, a German officer in uh, 2019's Jojo Rabbit, um, Taika Waititi's uh, comedy. Um, so Sam is good in anything. I mean, he's, he's serious and comedic in movies like Moon and Choke and uh, so many others. But um, those four are, I just think, you know, I'll watch them anytime. Green Mile, Galaxy Quest, Three Billboards, and Jojo Rabbit. Uh, just one of my favorites. Yeah, let, let me just weigh in here briefly. Uh, one I want to say, Galaxy Quest, is I have a short list of films that when I really need to laugh, I'll, I'll put one of them on, and Galaxy Quest is one. It is just the whole conception of it. Uh, that the that the the the, the over-the-hill cast of a Star Trek-like show gets kidnapped by aliens who think that they're real intergalactic heroes that they need to, them to come to their planet and solve their problems for them is just brilliant and hilarious, and it's and it's it's all done wonderfully. Uh, three billboards. I just have to say. I will watch Sam Rockwell and Francis McDormand play the phone book, but I hated that film. I thought that film sucked. I thought really yes. I thought the 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 the, the, the writing, the conception of it was it was so overrated. It didn't it didn't make sense. The character motivations, none of it. You know, it was it was just saved by two great performers. But uh, but just just way way overrated. Huh. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hadn't seen it in a while, but um, I like Martin McDonough. I'm trying to. He did in Bruges, which I really enjoyed with Brendan Gleeson and and Colin Farrell. Uh, I'm trying to think what else he's done that that comes to mind. But you know, I I, I think he's a he's a you know I think he's a good film writer. And you know, I mean, for the Francis McDormand character is this. You know, is this traumatized mother who's lost her daughter and just on a, on a rampage? Hard to make a character like that appealing, and uh, 
uh, which she's not. She's not an appealing character. Yeah, I don't. I don't but, care about appealing. It's 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 credible. But anyway, we can argue about that for a long time. I, I want to mention one other Sam Rockwell uh, vehicle, uh, which was a limited TV series a couple of years ago, Fosse Verdon. I, it was, oh, yeah, I didn't see it. He played uh, um, Bob Fosse. He played Bob Fosse. Yeah, the, 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 the great, great choreographer and, and um Oh, I forget her name. Sorry, she she was brilliant. Won Emmys. Uh, plays Gwen Verdon, his sometime wife and muse. Um, it's you get to see him dance, which is great. Um, it was an interesting and I think problematic performance because uh, a big part of the story is that. Uh, you know, Fosse couldn't keep it in his pants. He just, he kept having to, to sleep with his, his dancers and that made, um, uh, made marriage difficult. <laughs> um, and, and, and he's portrayed as a guy who did a lot of suffering, um, but, and which Rockwell does very well, but also he had to have had a lot of charm to get all these these people in bed with him and it's 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 just interesting i'd be very interested to see your your take on it chris because i couldn't see the charm i couldn't see why any of them would be charmed by him he's so mm -hmm. serious he's just smoldering with suffering all the time but in any case it it is a really interesting series it does a whole lot of interesting things and i'm so sorry i blanked out on her name because as who played gwen verdon she's brilliant she is it's a performance not to be missed i believe that was michelle williams yes that's right michelle williams brilliant so that's our uh, our tribute to sam rockwell <laughs> today right confessions of a dangerous mind and some other films and yeah, I just, I like, I'll watch him in anything. I just think yep. that guy's terrific. Yep. He's yep. just something else. So, okay, well, that's it for this uh, edition of Movie Picks with Chris and Dean. Join us next time. See ya. Thank you for joining us on the Philosopher's Movie Talk Show. Please subscribe to stay up to date on our newest episodes.